Decimals and fractions are very much related. Um, we can create decimals from fractions and we can create fractions from decimals. So with this, I have a model here and there's eight out of the 10 are shaded in. So our fraction here is going to be eight tenths. And the decimal that is equivalent to eight tenths is eight tenths as well. They're said the exact same way. So this is zero and eight tenths. It is eight tenths because there is an eight in the tenths place. If I were to put in a calculator eight divided by 10, this is what would show up, eight tenths, because the fraction bar in a fraction just means divided by. So eight divided by 10 will equal eight tenths. Now three tenths down here, there's three shaded in out of a total of 10. That will equal as a decimal three tenths zero and three tenths. That is three tenths because the three is in the tenths place. And last one with the ten tenths, I have nine shaded in out of 10, that's going to be nine tenths. And that is going to be equal to nine tenths. And this is called nine tenths because the nine is in the tenths place. So zero and nine tenths. And if I put in a calculator nine divided by 10, this is the answer that I would receive, zero and nine tenths. And a couple examples where our fractions and decimals will go to the hundredths. So with this one, I have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 out of 100 shaded in. So that's 34 hundredths. And to turn that into a decimal, it's said the same exact way. So that is 34 hundredths. And we read that as 34 hundredths because it's a 34 after the decimal, and that goes out to the hundredths place, so 34 hundredths. And if I do 34 divided by 100 in the calculator, that's what I end up with. And with this one, I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's 87 out of 100 shaded in. So that is 87 hundredths, and my decimal is going to say the same thing, 87 hundredths, because there's an 87 in the decimal places, and it goes out to the hundredth place. So that's zero and 87 hundredths. Once again, 87 divided by 100 will equal zero and 87 hundredths. And last one down here, there is six out of the hundred shaded in, so this is six hundredths, and that is going to be equal to six hundredths. Now this is six hundredths because there are two decimal places there, and whenever I have two decimal places, the last name of that decimal is going to be hundredths. So this is zero and six hundredths. And once again, if I did six divided by 100 in the calculator, this is what would show up. So fractions and decimals are related to each other. They can be equivalent. They are said and read the same way when we have tenths and hundredths with them, hundredths with them.